For this segment of A Bit of Addison History, we're here today with Historical Society member and volunteer Dale Hahn. Dale has been using the museum archives to trace his family history. And today he's going to share some of his insights about Addison as a rural farm town. Dale? Addison started out as an agricultural community in the mid-19th century. Corn, oats, wheat, and buckwheat were the principal crops. The first settlers were Yankees from New England, soon followed by German settlers. Between 1860 and 1880, agriculture was changing from diversified subsistence farming to specialized cash crops, particularly corn and commercial dairy farming. Addison Township was mostly farmed before World War II and supplied the Chicago area with grain, milk, pork, and other agricultural products. Agricultural resources were closer to the city since transportation wasn't like it is today. Historical Addison Township maps from 1874 and 1904 are available online. They show the locations and size of the farms of that time. This one from 1874 shows Lake Street, Army Trail, and Addison Roads and the meandering Salt Creek. In the upper right, you can see an area of small plots. These were the woodlots that were accessed by Wooddale Road north of Lake Street. Besides owning their farms, farmers would also have a woodlot. These woodlots provided them with lumber for building fences and fuel for wood-burning stoves. Besides farming, Addison also had food processing businesses. In 1867, the Heidemann Will was constructed in Addison to serve the residents who were taking their grain to surrounding communities to be ground. It was one of three wind-powered grist mills in northeast DuPage County in the late 1800s. It used two sets of grinding stones, one set for grinding wheat, corn, and buckwheat into flour, and the other set for grinding feed for livestock. In 1890, DuPage County led the state in production of milk and had 19,000 dairy cows and 24,000 beef cattle. By the turn of the century, increasing quantities of milk were being hauled to Chicago. Much more was kept in the vicinity and made into cheese. This photo of Lake Street shows the Newton Dowd Creamery that stood on the northwest corner of Lake and Addison from 1909 to 1932. It was also near the Illinois Central Railroad spur line that brought passengers and produce into the city starting in 1890. The Stunkel Cheese Factory, also on Lake Street, was on the east side of town. This photo shows Addison farmer Bill Stunkel taking delivery of agricultural machinery delivered by train. My great-grandfather Martin Moeller came to Addison in 1881. By 1884, he was farming as a tenant farmer. Tenant farming is an agricultural production system in which landowners contribute their land, the tenant contributes the labor, and both may contribute operating capital and management. Some of the original landowners had moved into town by this time and leased their farm to others. My great-grandfather farmed the Fred Buckholtz farm before moving into town in 1911. His farm auction ad hangs in the Addison Historical Museum's coach house. Note the German spelling for milk cows. Clarence Feeney, a lifelong resident, lived here for 94 years. His reminiscences were written down and are at the Addison Historical Museum. According to Clarence, on a nice day in summertime, there would be a cattle drive on Lake Street through Addison. The herd consisted of 30 to 35 head of cattle. They plodded along in an orderly fashion. Two mounted cowboys brought up the rear of the herd. There was also a cattle crossing at Lake Street and Maple on the east side of town. Mr. Rathke had five cows in a barn. Every morning he would herd his cattle north on Maple Street, cross Lake Street to Salt Creek where the cows would crop the green grass. In the evening he would drive the cattle back across Lake Street and into his barn. In December 1914, hoof and mouth disease infected many Addison area cattle. Some farmers lost entire herds of cattle which were destroyed and buried. The Depression years made their impact on Addison. Large dairies in Chicago making pasteurized milk displaced the independent dairy farms. Grist mills closed down. After World War II, land became too valuable for farming. Returning soldiers came home, started families, and needed housing and jobs. The Lezebrecht farm was across Lake Street from where the Addison Village Hall stands today. Like other farms in the area, it gave way to development. Today, the Green Meadow Shopping Center stands in its place. The agricultural areas of Addison Township were transformed into housing tracks, shopping malls, and businesses as it transitioned into suburbia. Mm -hmm.